We are going to look at how to find a basic feasible solution to the system Ax equal to Bx greater than or equal to 0, where A is an m by n matrix with rank m, and B is an m vector. Here, we are going to assume that B is going to be non-negative everywhere. If that's not the case, say Bi is negative, we can just multiply the i equation with minus 1. Finding a basic feasible solution to this system is essential to the simplex method because before we can start the simplex method, we need to have an initial basic feasible solution. There are two ways to do this. One way is to use the dual simplex method on this problem. So we're going to minimize 0 times x subject to a x equal to b x greater than 0 and use the dual simplex method starting with any basis. Now, I haven't talked about dual simplex method, but if you have the chance to look it up somewhere, either on the web or in books, you can just follow the steps, start with any basis of A. Of course, that basis might not determine a basic feasible solution, but it will determine a dual feasible solution. And the solution is going to be zero for all the dual variables. So this is not what we're going to talk about. Instead, we'll use the notion of an auxiliary problem. So what we do is the following. Introduce m new variables x n plus 1 up to x n plus m. And these are called artificial variables. Form the following problem. So we are going to minimize the sum of these artificial variables. And the constraints will now be, say AI transpose is the ith row of A times X plus the artificial variable Xn plus I equal to BI. And of course, all these variables will have to be non-negative. Okay. So let's look at an example. Suppose that A is 1, 1, 0, 2, 0, minus 1, and B is, say, 2, 1. Then the auxiliary problem. So this is called the auxiliary problem of S. S is a system up here, AX equal to B, X greater than 0. So our serial problem is going to be minimize X4 plus X5 because I have X1, X2, and X3. And the constraints will be X1 plus X2 plus X4, 2, and 2X1 two minus X3 plus X5 equal to 1 and x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, bring with 0. Now, why are we interested in this problem? Well, the claim is we can use this to find a basic feasible solution to S. And how do we do that? The thing to observe is the way we construct this problem P prime give us an immediate basic feasible solution. If I let my basis to be the indices n plus 1 up to n plus m, then it determines a basic feasible solution. It's clear here in this example, if I take basis equal to 4 and 5, the basic feasible solution will be 0, 0, 0, 2, and 1. So b equal to 4, 5, determines the basic feasible solution 0, 0, 0, 2, 1. And that means I can start the simplex method with this basic feasible solution. Now what happens when the simplex method ends? Here's an observation that I would like you to make. If this system S has a solution X, then I can get a feasible solution for P prime by just setting all these artificial variables to zero. 
and keep the same values for x1 up to xn. So, if there is a solution to this system S, then I must be able to find a feasible solution to P prime with objective function value 0, right? Because the objective function consists of all these artificial variables, and I'm setting them to 0. But notice that P prime cannot have an optimal value less than 0, because it's minimizing the sum of non-negative variables. xn plus 1 up to xn plus m are all non-negative. So if you add them together, you will never get anything less than 0. To summarize, if S has a solution, then P prime will have an optimal solution with optimal value 0. So if you solve P prime and the optimal value is not 0, that means S has no solution. Now suppose that you solve P prime and the optimal value is 0, and you use the simplex method to solve it. What you have at the end is a basic feasible solution for P prime, where xn plus 1 up to xn plus m are all 0. And if you throw away those variables, what you are left with are variables for x1 up to xn that will also give you a basic feasible solution to the system S. And that's the idea. To summarize the whole process, in order to find a basic feasible solution to S, all you need to do is first form the auxiliary problem in this manner. Start with the basic feasible solution determined by the basis consisting of the indices of the artificial variables. Perturb that problem if you want and apply simplex method. At the end, if the optimal value for P prime is zero, then you have got a basic feasible solution for S. If not, then S has no solution at all.